one trick that is used by probably every celebrity out there and Welcome back. We are so excited for today's video because we're sharing with you 20 ways to refresh your look. And the reason we decided to do this video was a little bit personal. Both Christina and I have been doing a lot of traveling this summer, a lot of not so healthy eating, and sometimes just not feeling our absolute best. And we started to think about what are some of the things that we do that help us to feel a little bit better, a little bit refreshed, a little bit prettier. And we wanted to share those tips and tricks with all of you. Yes. And some of them were even great reminders for ourselves on things that we do that we're not always conscious of. But if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down below. And for those of you who already have, thank you so much for joining us again. And if you're new here, I'm Christina and this is my best friend Kelly and our channel is all about things, fashion and beauty. So this first tip is one that I have recently found myself utilizing more and more and I've picked up some great finds that I'm excited to share with you as well and that is to swap out your flat sandals or your sneakers for a little block heel sandal. So the reason I have been loving this is because I have found that there are some very small block heel sandals that give me just enough height to make me feel a little bit elevated, a little bit taller and slimmer, elongate my legs enough, but they're still super comfortable to walk around in all day long, which is definitely a requirement for me. I don't like to have anything on my feet when I'm out running errands or shopping or doing all kinds of things that is gonna keep me feeling uncomfortable or make it harder for me to move quickly. So I love these small block heel sandals. Usually they're anywhere from two to three inches. I found a few pairs recently that I have been loving and I have really road tested these ladies. I have worn them out all day long Long, and I can tell you that they're super comfortable, just as comfortable as some of my flat shoes. Sometimes for some people, these would be even more comfortable because they do have that slight heel. So for me, this is a tip that really makes me feel just a little bit sexier, a little bit prettier, and it's definitely one I was excited to share with you. I have to confess, ladies, that I have gained a little bit of weight, but one of the tricks that I love to use to always look my best, even when I've put on a little bit of weight in my tummy area, is to throw on a dress. So whenever I wear a dress, I always feel very feminine and very pretty, and I also find that it really helps to conceal that tummy area, which is where I tend to gain a lot of weight but you can also find a variety of dresses. So if you are someone who has a very casual lifestyle, there are lots of very lightweight, casual, cotton type of dresses that are out there that you can wear that will really fit in seamlessly with your lifestyle. Also, if you have an event that's maybe a little bit special and you want a chiffon style type of dress, you can find lots of these elevated dresses that can hide some of your insecurities. So if you're someone who maybe has some arm insecurities, you might find some that have some pretty like sleeves that kind of cover that area. Or if you wanted to find your waist, you can find some that have more of that waist definition, whether it's with a tie waist or whether it has a little elastic band around the waist. But I promise you with all of the pretty colors and patterns and details that are out there throwing on a dress especially if you're going out to run some errands really is a great way to refresh your look and to look and feel your best okay so one trick that is used by probably every celebrity out there and definitely popular with people who are on YouTube or Instagram is using self tanner and is definitely a trick that I have been utilizing not currently, but definitely a lot throughout the summer and spring, and really it's one that you can use even in fall and winter. And so using self-tanner is really just going to help to give you a little bit of that golden glow to your skin, but it also helps you feel and look slimmer. It also camouflages any like skin blemishes, whether it's some veins or maybe just some imperfections, even a little bit of cellulite can be camouflaged with a little bit of glow to the skin. So I will share with you, of course, the ones that I really love. One of these is more of a quick spray tan that I use. Another one is one of those gradual moisturizers. For those of you who are maybe a little uncomfortable with the idea of the spray tan, a gradual moisturizer is foolproof and will just give you that very subtle glow, but it will definitely make you look and feel your best. 
A great little trick for looking your best is to swap out your t-shirts for either a button-up shirt or for a blouse. So of course for myself, this is a trick that I've absolutely been using. So a lot of times when I tend to gain some weight, whether it's in my arms or my tummy area that I tend to notice it, t-shirts will for sure cling to that area. And a great little trick is to instead pick up a button-up. So a lot of times I'm either wearing like a camp style shirt or even a, a button-up style, maybe rolling the sleeves, or wearing blouses in like a satin or chiffon kind of material. And it's because those style of shirts are very forgiving when you've gained a little bit of weight. They really skim the body. They're not clinging to your body, which really hides and conceals to others that you've gained a little bit of weight. So one of the tricks I use pretty much every single day to look and feel my best is to reach for a rosy lip color. As I have gotten older, I definitely found that my skin looks a little bit duller and I really need something to brighten up my face a little bit, brighten up my teeth a little bit, and just overall make me look more glowy and cheerful. And I have found that rosier pink shades on my lips really do that for me. So I wanted to share with you a couple of my favorites, but really any rosy pink shade or even something a little bit deeper like a berry is really good for brightening up the skin and just making you look and feel younger and prettier. So one of the things that I love to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. This is my liner and it is called Super Size Me. I use this with pretty much every rosy pink shade. It's just a great pinky nude color that will help to outline your lips as well as fill them in and make your lipstick last. And then I have two great options. One of these options is if you like a little bit more of a natural pinky tone, and this is the new Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush airbrush lip blur and I picked up this shade I believe it's called rosy I'll definitely link the details below for you this is really pretty if you're looking for that softer rosy pink tone just a little something to brighten up the face and then I have this new one by the brand rose ink this one is called their union this is definitely a deeper brighter vibrant berry tone this is when I want a little something extra maybe go really simple with all of the other makeup and have a nice bright berry tone to live and it's just going to brighten your face and make you feel younger and prettier. Now if a bright lipstick can do that for you then it's no surprise that also wearing a bright colored top can do the same thing. So this is one of the th tricks that Kelly and I for sure use is wearing a bright top. We really feel like it adds some color to our face. It really creates a very youthful look and it's also super flattering to your skin tone. So this is just something that's a great little trick that you can use because with that bright color you're also drawing attention towards your face and a lot of women tend to feel like if they have these brighter colors then their face really is the center and focal point and that can be a plus if you are someone who has maybe gained a little bit of weight and you're trying to draw attention somewhere else so this can be done in you know any style of shirt you can have a button-up shirt you can have a blouse you can even have some of these very like casual cotton kind of shirts doesn't really matter so long as that it's a bright color one that you feel like it's really Really flattering for your skin and drawing that attention towards your face. So one of the things that really makes me not feel my best is when I look in the mirror and my eyes look kind of red and dull and they don't look bright and white. So one of the things I do to counteract that is to use Lumify eye drops. Now, I'm not gonna suggest you use these every day. I don't think that's really what you're supposed to do. So you definitely might wanna check with your eye doctor on these. But for me, using these on those occasions when my eyes look dull and tired, if they have a little bit of redness to them, or even if they just feel very puffy and heavy because maybe I didn't get enough sleep, I put a little bit of these Lumify eye drops in and it definitely opens up the eyes, creates like a nice bright white look to my eyes and it makes me look and feel refreshed and more alive, which of course just overall makes you feel better. Another easy way to refresh your look is to make sure that you are exfoliating your skin. So this is for sure something that I do religiously. I'm always exfoliating my skin. When there are 
are times when maybe I'm putting on my makeup and I just feel like oh, my makeup just doesn't look as good today. It's probably because I haven't been as diligent with exfoliating my face as I normally am. So one of my favorite products to use is this one from Dermalogica. So this is a, a multivitamin thermofoliant. I have been using this since 2008. Honestly, the best exfoliant that I have ever come across. I shared it with Kelly. She's also in love with it. Our daughters are in love with it. It really has such a great like granular texture. It really helps to just slough off the skin without being super harsh um, on your skin and leaving any sort of irritation. But this is a great little trick that you'll want to use if your makeup isn't laying properly because of course with us using primers and foundations and concealers, it really can just kind of settle into your lines and into your pores so if you have a great exfoliant your makeup will lay better and the same is also true for your skin so a lot of times women will you know kind of neglect maybe the skin around their elbows around their knees um, some of those rougher areas and I have been sharing these products um, with you since the very beginning and these are called Italy towels so these are super popular in Korea every woman in Korea will use these these really are a fantastic way to exfoliate your skin. I have not found a better way to really remove dead skin cells from your body. However, I will tell you, do not use these on your neck or on your face because they're just a little bit too harsh and abrasive, but they are perfect for, for removing those dead skin cells from your body and just leaving your body feeling silky soft and smooth. So this next tip is such an easy one and it's especially helpful if you happen to be wearing your hair pulled back and that is wearing earrings. Now I feel naked without my earrings so this is something I definitely do each and every day but especially wearing an earring that is a little bit more of like a statement earring, something a little bit larger or eye catching can really help to just draw some attention toward your face, brighten up the face a little bit, add a little element of interest and it's something that I love love to do. So recently when Christina and I were sharing our summer favorites, one of the things I shared with you were my new Kendra Scott earrings. These are especially great because they're a simple, beautiful hoop, but they have this little bit of like CZ chips in them that add a little bit of light catching element. So it's definitely good for bringing some light to the face and just adding an element of interest. But we've also shared some other great ones. I'll make sure to link some of our favorites below, but just in general, wearing an ear is really a great and easy way to kind of refresh your style and brighten up your look. Another easy way to make yourself feel and look prettier is to give yourself a facial mask. So there's so many different facial mask options that are out there, but all of them are ones that you can really pick depending on what your needs are. So some of them might be for brightening the skin. Maybe if you have uneven skin tone coloring, others might be for firming and lifting. And of course, the majority of them are also for hydrating, which is fantastic if you are someone who is really looking to diminish those fine lines. So a couple of the ones that Kelly and I like to use are this clay one from Generation. So this is a great one if you are looking for one that's for brightening your skin. The other one is from Puriderm. So of course I really look for those ones that are age defying or firming. And these are a great one because they're also extremely hydrating. So an easy little trick for making your skin look great and for making your look prettier is to make sure you spend some of that extra time and energy giving yourself a facial. I promise you it'll make you feel and look like a million bucks. So when I'm not feeling my best, maybe with my weight or I'm just feeling like I'm in a little bit of a slump, one of the items that makes me feel more confident is a great pair of jeans and specifically a slim straight pair of jeans is what I would really recommend. And the reason I love slim straight jeans is number one, they're very on trend right now so you're automatically going to look more fashionable, more current, but also they're a great pair of jeans to really highlight your body, highlight your curves, make your butt look really good and they're just a great option. If you have a pair that you love, you're going to put those on and you're just going to feel put together and 
beautiful. So we definitely have a couple different pairs that we have been loving, everything from very budget friendly to more high end, depending on you know what your budget is and what you really gravitate toward. But there are lots of great options out there for slim straight jeans. They're a great pair to hug your curves and make you feel your best. You can pair them with a variety of tops like those bright tops and those button ups that we talked about earlier and they're just going to make you feel beautiful. As we get older, the skin underneath our eyes can become puffier. They can also, if you are someone who has dark circles like myself, they also can become darker. I've experienced it. And so one of the things that Kelly and I really love to do in order to just help with that area, whether it's with, you know, the increased puffiness, the under eye dark circles, even some of the lines that we're noticing underneath is to use eye masks. So this will really help to hydrate that area. And whether you want to use your eye mask right before you put on your makeup, or if you're someone who has oilier skin um, and maybe find that that extra hydration, you know, um, is making your makeup slip off, using it at nighttime is also another great time to use these eye masks. So a couple of our favorite ones, um, the first one is from Peter Thomas Roth. So these are great. They've got three different varieties. Some are from hydrating, some are for brightening, other ones are for lifting and firming. So there's a great variety. These are ones that you can just place underneath your eyes, either directly under or on the side, depending on whether you're trying to combat maybe some crow's feet or if you have more of a problem with puffiness and dark circles under the eyes, you can really kind of tailor it and you just leave it on for 10 or 15 minutes. I've even seen some women who will use it underneath for you know, combating maybe some puffiness and then they'll actually flip the eye mask over to really help with the crow's feet on the outer part of their eye. The other eye mask that we use, and I will tell you ladies, it is a bit pricier, but it is one that we absolutely do use and love is the one from Sicily. So even though it is on the pricier end, Kelly and I have both notice that this one bottle we both purchased it in October and we both feel like it is pretty much over halfway full so it for sure will last a long time this one is also really good for hydrating underneath that area really reducing any sort of puffiness that you notice underneath your eye and so of course this is super important a lot of people you know you're looking at them directly in the eyes so you want to have that youthful look and that youthful glow and using an eye mask is a sure way to get that look so even if you are someone who is maybe working from home or just at home doing the chores, hanging out in the house, what you're wearing can really have an effect on your mood and your confidence and how you feel about yourself. That is definitely something that I have noticed. So if you're hanging around in ratty old t-shirts and you know yucky sweatpants and things, sometimes it can really kind of make you feel a little bit negative energy, but I found that if I wear something that is a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more pretty and just makes me feel good, makes my skin feel good, it really does brighten up my mood. So recently I have been replacing some of those ratty old pajamas with some beautiful pairs that are softer fabrics, just things that I can wear around the house. I'm not talking about, you know, negligees and lace and all that kind of crazy stuff. I'm talking about the stuff that I can wear around the family, I can wear around the house to do laundry, to do all the things I need to do, but that really feel comfortable and cute and pretty and just brighten up my mood and overall just make me feel good about myself. So I picked up a few pairs in the Nordstrom sale that I am absolutely loving. I will link some of those below, but there's a variety of cute loungewear and pajamas out there. And I think if you wear something that just makes you feel good, that feels good and comfortable on the skin, it really does help to make you feel your best. As we get older, our teeth can tend to become a little bit more yellow, or for some of us, like myself, they can become a little bit more opaque. And of course, that's not going to give you that like youthful kind of look. So one of the tricks that I love to use, especially right after I have gone for my six month appointment with the dentist, is to use some kind of whitening product. So currently right now, I just went to the dentist and the one that I'm using is this one from Crest. Obviously, it's their white strips. I'm sure you ladies have all either seen them heard of them or even use them but a great thing to do is just to put it into your routine after you've gone to the dentist to put these on every six months it'll help to keep your teeth looking you know pearly white it gives that youthful kind of look you'll always have a beautiful smile and you'll always be looking and feeling your best 
So I am someone who really loves scents. I am really a smell person. I love perfumes and colognes and scented candles, and I think that scent can really affect our mood. So part of looking and feeling my best definitely involves wearing a perfume, and I have a variety of scents that I reach for. I think it depends on how you're feeling that day, what you're wearing, the season that you're in. So I think a lot of us have some that we really gravitate toward, and I think it's important to include that in your routine and getting ready and feeling your best. So I wanted to share a few of my favorites. I love the Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is a great classic scent. It's very like sexy and fresh. And I also love this one by MFK. This is the A La Rose. This one is definitely on the pricier side. That's why I go for it, the small bottle, but it is definitely one that just makes me feel very beautiful, very feminine, and I absolutely love it. I go for more of those floral scents and fresh scents so I'll link some favorites below for you but any scent that you love that really speaks to you is definitely something that's gonna help to elevate your mood and help you to feel your very best another great way to look younger and to feel your best is to make sure that you're also using a great like hand and foot mask so the reason why you want to do this is because your skin on your hands and on your feet can age just like they do on your face and on your neckline so if you have a hydrating mask that you're able to use it will help to keep your hands looking more youthful also keeping your feet hydrated so when you're wearing those cute little sandals or high heel shoes your feet are always in top condition. The ones that I really love are by Tony Molly. So these are a great no mess hand mask and foot mask. So you're able to just slide your hands and slide your feet into them. They have only the product on the inside and a protective layer on the outside. So you don't need any kind of towel or anything when you are putting the foot mask on um, and getting like your sheets or anything like that messy. And I find that afterwards, my hands are really soft. My feet are soft. They're really hydrated. I think it really helps to keep them looking more youthful and it takes virtually no time and effort at all. So for many years, I really neglected my hands. I really just wasn't paying any attention to my nails, wasn't taking care of them. I just figured, who's really gonna notice my nails anyway? So even if you go back and watch some of our early videos, you might notice that I have some really not so nice looking fingernails. But once I started to care for my nails and take the time to paint them or have them done, it really just started to make me feel better about myself. It was just one of those little ways that you can treat yourself that I think really does make a difference. And I think that people really do notice our hands, especially if we enjoy wearing jewelry, which I really do. So it's definitely just one of those little things, whether you are going and getting a professional manicure or just putting some polish on your nails. It really is worth that time and effort to invest in yourself. I like to choose lots of different nail colors. So some of my favorites are some neutrals. I think neutrals are beautiful if you just want to elongate your hands and make them look fresh and clean and pretty. But I also enjoy some nice bright shades, especially in the summertime. I'm definitely someone who likes to do my nail color based on the seasons. So right now I have been loving the pink, especially the Barbie pink and all of those bright summery shades. And of course, moving into fall, I'll start looking towards those plums and those deeper shades. But just in general, spending the time to do your nails or have them done is just something that's gonna make you look and feel your best. So if you're looking for some great shade options, we'll make sure to list some favorites. I really love the Essie polishes as well as the OPI. I think that they are long lasting and they have the best shade selection that I've seen. So just a little tip, an easy way to make you look and feel Feel better. Another way to make yourself look a little bit more youthful is to use a cream blush. So a cream blush will really add some glow to your skin. It also can be much more hydrating. It can give a very youthful type of appearance. And if you're using, let's say, a powder blush, it can dull the skin. Also, powder tends to settle into some of your fine lines. So for me, I find that once I switched from a powder blush over to a cream blush, I felt like I got much more compliments on the texture of my skin. I also got a lot more compliments that I looked like I had just a natural type of glow. One of my favorite um, cream blushes is this one from Tarte. It's their Man Eater one. It's in the color buff. My daughter actually uses another one and it just gives this rosy little glow. It 
gives this like sun-kissed kind of look. It really helps to just create this like youthful look. I'm, I promise you ladies, if you try it, you're really going to love it. You will notice a big difference between using a powder blush and a cream blush. So as we get older, a lot of times our hair tends to lose some of that volume and bounciness that it once had in our youthful years. And one of the ways that we like to combat that is by adding a little bit of loose and beachy waves to the hair. So this is something I definitely have been using a lot lately. And the more carefree and kind of messy the waves tend to look, the more youthful it can really look so we're not talking about those like tight curls from the past we're talking about just a beachy wave adding a little texture to the hair can definitely create some volume create some bounce and just help you to look and feel better so Christina and I both do this with curling irons you can also do this with like a curling wand some people are even great using a flat iron to create that look I will definitely link my favorite curling iron below for you I think the one that I'm currently using is about a one and a quarter inch but I've also used one and a half inch to create that volume and texture but really any curling iron is great for this and just adding that very loose wave if you're not sure how to do it I saved on our Instagram stories a little tutorial of how I do mine and some of the products I use but just having that little bit of texture and bounce to the hair is definitely a way to create some fullness to create some volume and definitely to make you feel and look a little bit more youthful Another easy way to refresh your look and to refresh your style, especially if you feel like you've been in a little bit of a slump, is to select a trendy shoe. And one of the trendy style of shoes that Kelly and I have been loving is the metallic shoe trend. So this is an easy way. You can pick up either sandals, sneakers, heels, all kinds of variety of metallic shoes honestly are out there. And when you style them with your outfit, you're immediately creating a very fresh, current, and modern kind of look. So we have shared several ones with you before. We'll make sure to also link those ones down below. These are a great one, whether you want something with a little bit of heel or whether you want something that's super casual, honestly, the options are endless. Okay, ladies, so if you enjoyed this video, we think that you will really enjoy our last video, which was some of our favorite summer finds, new things in our closet, new beauty items we've picked up. So make sure you head over there and watch that one next, and we'll catch you in the next video.